Hey guys, it's Kevin again, and in this video, I am now going to review the album that I recommended that you guys must get this week, Rise by Skillet. So I've been listening to their singles throughout the whole time they've been putting them out, um, and um, they finally have this CD out, so I definitely wanted to get it. I mean, each single was just better and better than the last one, and it turns out that Rise is the best album of 2013 so far. I mean, I never thought that I would love a rock album this much. But I do. Honestly, they're better than Paramore. I thought Paramore was my favorite. They're better than Paramore. I mean, they're, they're, they're so amazing with the way they make their songs and the, the effort that they put into them is just amazing. And throughout the whole CD, you have these amazing singers who know exactly what they're doing. They know real music. They're not screaming into the microphone. They're singing a song. They're not screaming into the microphone like, <laughs> I hate that kind of rock. Honestly, you're just going to hurt your voice that way. Um, yeah, so I don't like that kind of rock, and I like that they don't do that at all. I really, really love this CD. It's really great. And one of the things that I love about it is that it's a concept album. If you guys don't know what a concept album is, um, a concept album is pretty much from beginning to end, the whole CD tells one consecutive story. And I really, really love that it tells one consecutive story and that the whole CD is exactly like that. They have some really cool interludes, which I will get to. And let's just start off with the first song, which is Rise. <laughs> This song is amazing, honestly. I really do love it. I mean, one of the things I love about it is that we have both um, this one incredible guy, and then we have this girl, Jen, who it sings a lot of the songs on here. Again, I always say she sounds like Haley Williams. Oh, she's amazing. But pretty much what the guy um, who makes this CD, uh, what's his name? I forgot his name. Oh, John Cooper. John Cooper uh, said that this CD pretty much is um, all telling the story of this boy who is a teenage boy who's going into adulthood, and he's facing all these world problems like earthquakes, waterfalls, and he's trying to rise above it, and uh, in the meantime, he meets this girl, and I really feel that that's what it's like, and honestly, some of these tracks feel like they could be in like a musical, and when I say musical, rock musical. If you were to put this on Broadway, make it a rock musical. Keep it this way. But I could see that happening. I could definitely see someone making either a movie or a Broadway musical of this. What do you guys do? You guys think that could happen? I mean, it happened with Pink Floyd CD, The Wall. It happened with the Who's CD, Tommy. So if it can happen with those, it can happen with this. And then the next song we have is the one that really got me introduced to Skillet, which was Sick of It. song that got me into Skillet and I absolutely loved it so I just kept buying the rest of their tracks and this CD this song is still amazing it's really really good especially now that I know what it has to do with and I really really love it so definitely sick of it is definitely great and then the next one is good to be alive parts of this song is at the end when you have this great interlude for not gonna die see that little girl on the cover you actually get to hear that little girl speak 
And that's really cool. Also, I forgot to say, there's a really cool interlude for Rise, where you see someone on the phone like, call 911, and then you hear someone like, I don't care about any of you! And that, that's really cool. But the one on this one's really cool too. In fact, I may even play it for you. This is the interlude. And then you can see it's getting into not gonna die. That is the perfect way to start not gonna die. And I mean, especially when you get to this right here. That's the perfect way to start it. I mean, that's an amazing interlude. When I first heard that, I'm like, this is amazing. And honestly, that was perfect the way they did that. I love the way that all worked. It was really, really good. And it's a really good interlude, so I really loved that interlude. I thought it was really, really good. So, yeah, that one is really, really good. So, not going to die. Then we get to that song. You guys know how much I love that song. I still love it, and it's still my favorite of the four singles they put out. I don't know what my favorite is now, though, because all four of the ones they put out were really great. So, I don't know. But um, I don't know what my favorite track on here is. I might think, I might get, to, I think my favorite track, I know what it is, but I don't get to it. But um, next we have a circus for a psycho. really cool too I really do like it and again it has this really cool interlude at the end which I will get to and you know what that interlude works perfect for the song because the first few lyrics of American Noise listen to it so listen to the interlude for Circus for a Psycho Listen to the lyrics. It works perfectly with the uh, interlude. See, they, what they did was they added the sounds in there to make it sound realistic. And I think that was a great move. It really works well. And I absolutely love that they did that. I think that's fantastic. And American Noise is still a really great song. It's one of the only ballads on here. Not my favorite ballad on here. We'll get to that in a second. But... I really love this song. I mean, I remember when they put it out, I loved it, and I still do love it. And the next one we have is Madness and Me. Like, this is the part where he's, like, turning to God, and he turns to God in one of the songs. And this one also has a really good interlude. And the reason it has that great interlude is because the next one is called Salvation, which, of course, is all about him turning to God and, um trying to um just turn to god and be like help me i need your help and you're my salvation and uh, here it is the cool thing
thing about this song is it's the only song that the lead singer, uh, Jen, I don't remember her name, she takes the lead in this song. She doesn't take the lead in any of the other songs. So I think it's really great. And uh, so now we're getting to my favorite track on the CD, which is Fire and Fury. This song made me think one thing. This should be a musical. It works perfectly. Fire and Fury. I could see two people behind this, like, partition. The girl on one side, the boy on the other side. Basically, forbidden love. They love each other, but they can't because they're Fire and Fury. They can't come together. And I think that's great that they wrote a song about forbidden love. It's great. It's in there, and I absolutely love it. It's just such a great song, and, oh. Once I heard I knew be my favorite. And I just absolutely love this song. So Fire and Fury is my favorite of the non-single tracks. So Fire and Fury, definitely get Fire and Fury. That's the best one on here. The next one we have is My Religion. Now, My Religion is very different from the rest of the CD. Just listen to it. This is kind of the song where he's kind of turning away from God and like, I, you're not even helping me, so all of this girl's my religion. I don't know, there are many different meanings to this song, but I think there's an interlude. No, there's no interlude on this song, but I really do like this song because it's very different from the rest. It's very like uh, bluesy and uh, snap and really, it is, that one's really different from the rest of the songs and I really like that, so... My Religion, very different from the rest of the CD, but I really do like it. Next one we have is Hard to Find. This is a really good song, but the thing is I almost feel like this could be an 11 o'clock number in a musical. It feels very 11 o'clock number-ish. You know why? Because this guy is, like, singing about um, this girl, and he's also singing about, um, you know, you give me strength, put the past behind me. He's trying to figure out if he can put the past behind him and start over and, you know, be with this girl. And I think it's a great song, and I really do love this song, so hard to find really, really good. Um, and then the last song on here, the last track, if you get the non-deluxe version, I haven't listened to the deluxe version yet, is, uh, What I Believe. Oops. This is the perfect ending to the CD. I mean, it's really good. He's finally found the girl of his dreams. He's happy now. And you know what he's singing about it? It's really, really good. And I really love that song. It's really great. And here's the great thing about this CD. Yesterday it was at like 20-something. And it's gone to 4 now. And that is fantastic. If you guys have checked out my Instagram, I actually put a bunch of the, um, recommend a bunch of the tracks on there. So if you go to my Instagram, I did that. Um, so then there are three bonus tracks, Battle Cry, Everything Goes Black, and Freak Show. I haven't listened to them, and I'm not going to talk about them, because this is the, this is the CD you'll get in stores. Unless you go, like, get the Target exclusive or something, I don't know. But I highly recommend you check out this CD. Please, I've recommended so many CDs to you this year, but this truly is the best because of those interludes. And one of the things I love about, as I said, is that it could be a musical. Somebody, please, listen to this CD, Broadway.com, or someone who makes musicals or movies. Please make either a musical or a movie about this because 
I love this story. I want to see a movie or a musical about this. I think it'd be perfect. Actually, the lead singer, John Cooper, actually said how um, he doesn't usually like concept albums, but this one works really, really well because it really goes together, and I really love that they made a concept album. Apparently, it wasn't supposed to be one, but everybody thought it felt like a concept album, so they just kept it as a concept album, and I think that's really, really great. So again, I highly, highly recommend you check this one out. I know I recommend a lot of um, CDs to you. I know I recommend a lot, but please get this CD. Please, just do it. it it's, it's a great CD. It's a great way to listen to a great CD. You know, you'll love the interludes. You'll love the story. Um, just let me know what you guys thought of this CD. I absolutely love this CD. I thought it was really great. Um, what do you guys think of the... Um, what do you guys think of the interludes? What do you guys do? You guys feel like it could almost be like a musical or a movie? Um, well, what's your favorite song? As I said, my favorite is Fire and Fury. But what's your favorite of the non-single tracks? I just absolutely love this CD. That's it for my review of Skillet's new CD, Rise. As I said, I just love it. And um, so yeah, that's it for my review. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next video. Okay, bye.